What's going on, everybody? My name's Coffin, and this is take five of my week through of my uh, third game in the NPL tryouts. Um, today, I'm going to be going up against Die Tight and the New Britain Rock Roth. Uh, there's not really much to say about it. Um, I've got a team of Weaver, Suicune, Registeel, Dustin Moore, Megalophony, and Rome Heat, and he has a team of the New, the Cabellion, the Arcanine, the Manaphy, the Livani, and the Donphan. He does not bring the Mega Pinsir, in spite of the fact that it actually matched up very, very well against my team. Um, he did tell me after the battle he was very scared of uh, Scarf Run Peace, which you know, I did bring along. Um, so I guess let's, let's get started. So uh, he's going to leave with his Manaphy here, and I am going to leave with my Dust Noir. I'm going to frisk the lefties, um, and I am going to switch into my reg special defensive Registeel to 1v1 this uh, Tail Going Manaphy, because you know, I did have a, have, a, have a feeling that the Manaphy was going to be a Tail Go set. Um, it would have been able to set up on a lot of different mods on my team. Uh, I probably could have, I should have brought Thunder Punch on my Dust and the fact that uh, it was Assault Vest, so I could have taken a hit. Um, and I was Max Attack Adamant, so I, d I think a Thunder Punch might have taken the Manaphy if it wasn't bulky. Um, but yeah, I am going to switch into my Reg of Steel, and uh, this crit is very unfortunate here. I am going to take 75% from the crit. Um, and this is very unfortunate because I did go for a Toxic this turn. Um, and this Registeel was a Spadef variant, um, and uh, I would have been able to take two Surfs, uh, would have been able to Toxic this, and I would have been able to get my Rocks up. So uh, I am going to get Crit here, and I am going to fire up a Toxic, uh, Toxic does Lion, so I am going to be able to let's map it down a little bit, uh, and I am going to have to let my Doorknob go down. So uh, here I am going to switch straight into my Lopany here. Um, and he's going to switch into my Arcana, into the Arcanine, and uh, I am going to go for a fake out and take some Rocky Helmet damage. So this damage from the Ar on the Arcanine identifies that he is quite physically defensive. Um, it's more likely built as a monster one v one by physical threats like uh, like Megalopony. Um, so here I'm going to switch into my Suicune, and he's going to fire up a Toxic. So um, uh, and he's going to delve back into his Manaphy, and I'm going to hit a set up Calm Mind. So here, what I really should have done is I should have hit Calm Mind here. Um, I should not have, as you can see, so he's going to go for the tailbow. I should not have done this, I should not have gone for the rest, because um, if I was able to get another Calm Mind out, then I would have been able to take, uh, I think, two energy balls? My screen's frozen, hold on. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go to sleep. Uh, Manaphy's going to take some toxic damage, and so he's going to go for the, reveal the energy ball, which is... Uh, Quite unfortunate because my Suicune would have been able to one one this Manaphy just fine if it did not have the Energy Ball. Um, I'm going to sleep off Scald, and uh, this is kind of a blessing in disguise. I really wanted to get the Calm Mind. I didn't really want to get the Calm Mind, and uh, yeah, Scald is kind of best case scenario here because what what it does is that uh, wait wait wait. So here I'm going to make a play. Um, I really thought that the Manaphy would go for another Energy Ball, uh, then I could switch into my Rotom Heat, then I can get my Rotom Heat in, which is Choice Scarf, and then I would have been able to, uh, uh, get a Volt Switch off of the Manaphy, so, on the Manaphy. So, he is gonna hit Surf, uh, and Rotom's gonna die, um, which is very unfortunate, and I, uh, switched Rotom in here because, uh, Surf did not kill, uh, my Suicune from the range it was at, um, so that's really, really what I should have done, is I should have just left Suicune in and sacked it, then I would have been able to go into my Rotom and then, uh, then Bolts would shout the Manaphy, um, would have really stopped, it would have stopped a lot of things, it would have stopped the, uh, Manaphy sweep that he's get, that he, uh, that he's currently going to get, um, so he's gonna take some lefties and he's gonna take some toxins, so I'm gonna go straight into my Lopany, uh, he's gonna go straight into his Arcanine and I am going to fire off a high jump kick, don't wanna waste any time, really did want to get some damage off the Arcanine, um, because I knew it was coming in. So I'm going to switch into my Suicune, as he is going to go for the Morning Sun and heal himself back up to full. So, uh, um, I'm going to go for a Sleep Talk and see if I can roll Scald. I do roll Scald again, um, and the Manaphy is going to, t going to eat some lefties and then get some Toxic damage off. So here I'm going to sack my Suicune, um, to the Energy Ball, and, uh, as a result I am going to get a free switch into my Assault Vest of Dust Noir, um, and he is going to go for Surf. As you can see, that does not do any damage at all. Um, and uh, this would have really been able to one one a lot of mods on his team. Uh, we've been able to take on the Arcanine quite well if I was able to get a free switch into it, into the Dust Noir. Um, it would have been able to one v one. It would have been able to stop webs uh, with Levani. Uh, well, it wouldn't really have because Levani's faster than it. But uh, I'm going to go for Rock Slide and Manaphy's going to die. So here he's going to switch straight into his Mew one. 
which is his Mew, and he is unfortunately going to be bulk up Mew. I'm going to go for Shadow Punch, and it does do 30%-ish to it. So uh, he's going to go for another bulk up. Uh, I'm going to Shadow Punch again here. Uh, I did let him get to plus two, uh, which is a bit of a mistake on my part. He's going to go for Soft Boiled, and I'm going to make sure that he is at about 50%. Um, purely because I want to Weavile to come in and uh, try and get a kill with Knockoff. So uh, I'm going to go for another sh for a Shadow Sneak here, and he is going to go for the Knockoff and kill my Dustin Wire. Carry my soul vest. Um, so here I do have a chance of winning. Uh, I can go into my Lopity and I uh, I will hopefully be able to scout for the if he had Zen Headbutt instead of Drain Punch, then he then uh, I can potentially come back with my Weavile and win the game with that route, uh, or at least I'll be able to shorten the differential. Um, but uh, he is, he is gonna, I'm going to go on my Lopini, uh and I am going to go for a fake out here, try and get some chip on it, due to the fact that um, at this range, a knockoff from Weavile will actually kill even after the lefty's recovery. So here I'm going to switch into my Weavile, and unfortunately, uh, no way, he does soft boil, but unfortunately, I'm going to go for a knockoff, does do 50% to it, get rid of his lefties. Unfortunately, he does have the Drain Punch, so uh, that's pretty much guaranteed game to uh, die tied due to the fact that Lopini's not going to be able to, kill, to kill in return and uh, Drake Punch is going to take me out. So uh, that's going to be another 5 0 loss for, for the Rem Raids. Um, we're doing terribly. <laughs> like, I can't, I can't sugarcoat this. Um, it's just, I'm not having the best season. Uh, there's a lot of competi competition in here. Uh, and I'm basically the charity case of Pokemon. So, uh, of this league, anyway. So um, that is going to be the fiver loss um, uh, for us, and uh, Dietite is going to take home a fiver win against me. He's going to be sitting at two wins, no losses, differential of eight. This is late, by the way. 